Do you speak more than one language? You can put those skills to work as a court interpreter because there is a language barrier in the Mississippi court, but you can be the solution to bridge that gap. And joining us live to tell us more about this seminar is Deanie Miller, the Director of Language Access at the Administrative Office of Courts. How are you doing, Ms. Deanie? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. So tell us a little bit about this upcoming seminar. For the first time ever, our office is offering the Court Interpreter Workshop, which is an orientation where we go over ethics and skill building. It is going to be free. The legislature gave us a very generous appropriation, and we decided to use some of that money to get bilingual individuals in our office to see if they are interested in court interpreting. And it's scheduled for next week, May 30th and 31st. Now, when it comes to the language barrier, what are the most popular languages right now that you need help with? Spanish is number one, no doubt about it. Um, also Vietnamese, Arabic, but we get requests for all kinds of languages. We get Kiche, Wolof, um, languages that quite frankly, I've never heard of. They, I get calls from Child Protective Services or from a judge saying we have an individual and they need help. So it doesn't matter what language they speak, it's my job to find an interpreter. And that's why I need anyone who's bilingual, who is interested to come learn about our program so y'all can assist and give everyone equal access in our court system. And and that's the next question I was going to ask you, Dini. How critical is it for everyone to have access to the courts? It is so vital for everyone to be able to communicate. A, a judge cannot administer justice if they don't know what a litigant is saying. And a litigant needs to know what's happening. I can't imagine being in another country and not speaking the language and being taken into a courtroom and not knowing why. So that's why we need interpreters, like you said, to bridge that gap so everyone is on equal footing when they walk into one of our courthouses. Now, when it comes to uh, becoming an interpreter, uh, what are some of the benefits so that people know? Well, I think that most of our court interpreters love that they are independent contractors, which means they contract per assignment with all of the different courts in the state. Every single county, every single court, youth court, circuit, chancery, county, justice court, municipal court, they all use court interpreters. So I kind of look at it like a substitute teacher. You get a call if you want to take the assignment, great. If you're not available, that's okay too. And you can set your own rates. Which is <laughs> <laughs> all right, then, Tini. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us as always. Thank you. Live